Welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. I'm Tech Hench, and in today's episode, we're going to complete the grittiest driving road. So I've been working on this for a few episodes now. I think this is the third episode. So it's finally time to complete it. There's not a huge amount left to do on it, so I'm going to add some crash barriers around the turns coming down the mountain. Also, just change the textures on some of the, the ground. So I'm going to have it as dirt instead of grass. And just maybe put some rock and things like that around. I'm going to also probably put a few more lakes and little pools of water and stuff like that around just to make it look a little bit more interesting if you've not seen how we've got to this point so far I'll put links in the description for both videos what I'm also going to do a bit later on is just add a little bit of a tourist attraction in as well so what I want is a place where someone can go and park up and it just be a nice place to go maybe we could take some nice pictures of the road and the valley that it looks down into also going to add a bus line in, so the bus line is going to run from the new town that we created at the top of the mountain and go just around to the one of the cities that I already have. And it's just going to be a straightforward bus line, nothing special about it. It's going to use one of the vanilla buses as well, so probably the electric one that you can get in the game. So we did have a bit of a problem actually placing these fences around, or the grass bar barriers around. As you can see, it didn't really want to position itself on the edge of the, the road. Kind of kept wanting to kind of fly off down the down the uh, mountain it also sunk in the mountain as you can just see there which didn't look great I did go and play around it which you'll probably see me do in a second with some of the offsets just to see if I could make it work a little bit better it didn't seem to want to do anything it kind of just sunk itself into the ground that's probably the best that I got it as you can see there that actually worked out pretty well. So I'm going to just put a barrier all the way across there. Just because if you get off the edge there, I don't think you're going to survive, to be honest. Quite a long way down. So I didn't want to put too many barriers, but just enough to make it make it make sense. So this bit, as you can see there, actually worked pretty well. Probably because that was completely flat, I think. So I would like them to actually implement this mod as a proper tool in the game. I think it's probably something that's, that's missing. And although the mods are great, sometimes when uh, when they implement them in the game properly, they probably do work slightly better. Just integrate a little bit better with the game. So as you can see there, I'm just going to go around and texture some of the ground. Didn't want it to be all grass. So probably I'm still going to leave a little bit of grass showing through, but uh, not a huge amount. So I'm just going to pull it. I'm just using the dirt on that bit. Also, just to give a little bit more texture, just put down the little bit of rock. So hopefully then when you actually look up on the mountain and you're looking down, um, it will look really good. thing I'm probably not great at in the game doing this sort of thing I always managed to make it look not 100% natural I end up either using too strong a brush or something like that I think that looks pretty good maybe I need to do a little bit more on the edge there so what I also am going to do as you can see here is just put some bushes around so again, this is another mod that you can download off the store. I think all it's done is actually sunk the trees into the ground. And then it kind of just creates a little bush. So I'm going to place quite a few of them and quite a few of the different ones. Just makes it look, again, a little bit more interesting. Possibly should have put a little bit of sand next to some of the little pools that I've created there. Never mind, I can always come back and do that at some point. So just had a few trees in as well. Just to finish it off. And this is the bit on top of the mountain that I'm going to create. A little area where you can come and just look down into the valley. Hopefully it will make some nice photos what I will do is once um, 
once the video has gone live is use photo mode and just post some of the pictures from this point on my Facebook page. So go and check them out. What I wanted to do is just put in a little lay by so you can go and just park up. Maybe go for a walk across the top of the mountain. Just something really simple. We just put a little fence there. It's just a wooden fence, just so people can go and I don't know, lean against it and take some photos and stuff like that. Probably won't be a great deal of grass there, because I'm guessing if it was a popular place, all the grass would be worn away. So, and as always, we need a few trees as well. So we just put a few trees up there. And that's pretty much that area finished. So now we'll get the bus line in. So I'm just going to use the regular station at just there. Doesn't really matter where it goes. And I'm going to put a couple of bus stops around the town as well. Just so the buses can uh, just go around the town and pick some people up and then head back into the main big city, that one there. Uh, Tewkesbury, I think that was. Was it Tewkesbury? I can't remember now. I should really rem remember the name of the cities by now. I have been doing the big build for quite some time now. This is actually episode 30. So we managed to get to episode 30, which is fantastic. And we're just going to, like I say, add the vanilla bus in. Or a vanilla bus, just the electric one. Cheers. And there we go. So there it is. So that's that area done. So what I will do is do a flyover as I normally do. I'll add that at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around to see that. And what I'm going to do now is actually start the next area of the map that I'm going to work on. So in the last episode, I did mention that I thought it was probably good at... Uh, a good idea to do some sort of race track or something like that as a again as a tourist attraction so i think that's what i'm going to build here so I'm not going to finish it today but what i'm going to do is just put the make some of the groundworks in so just to start off i'm going to just create a couple of car parks and somewhere for the visitors to park and things like that i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm going to make this all work yet i'll i think i've just figured that out as i go along but what I do want is, like I say, a couple of car parks and then just a gate. So security hut with the barrier for people to, to come through. Possibly we'll then just expand that a little bit just so there's quite a bit. Or something interesting there. What I probably will do as well is put some little industries around as well, just around here. Just so it looks like there's racing teams and things like that that, that are there. Normally, do kind of get buildings and quite a few different types of buildings around racetracks and stuff. Not quite sure if there's a conference hall in the game. If there is one or a mod or something like that, possibly we'll be put something like that in as well. Maybe like a museum or something. That'd be pretty cool to have a, a racetrack. So, you've probably seen me do this before. So, it's just a mod that's got the car park the car parks on them so I'm just going to colour the edges in with a bit of uh, I think that's gravel that I'm using there yes it is here's where the security is going to go so I just want a tarmac path that goes either side of it possibly will get rid of m the majority of the grass around the place and have tarmac for most of it Possibly we'll have then a bit of grass around the actual track when I put it in. Not quite sure which road yet I'm going to use to build the track. It's either going to have to be... Well, it's going to have to be one of the small roads. I'm not sure if it's going to be the country one or the, the town one, which I forgot what it's called. Because I've got grass bar barriers and things like that, I probably could put them around and actually put some proper barriers around the actual track for like spectator, spectator areas and things like that obviously not got no stands don't think unless anyone knows of any if you know of any like spectator stands or anything like that on the store please do drop them in the comments below and I'll probably use them 
So I'm not quite sure what track I'm going to base this on yet. If you've got any ideas, again, drop them in the comments below. I'm thinking probably one of the famous ones, so something like maybe Silverstone or Spa is normally quite a famous track, so I'm not quite sure how easy that one will be to make though. Silverstone's quite flat, so would because we've got a flat area it will be probably quite easy to build. So as you can see, I was just gonna put a little lake there. But because we're so high above sea level, the edges of the lake were gonna be really steep and it just didn't look very good. So I've scrapped that idea. And what I'm gonna probably do is just put a few trees around there instead, which I think will probably look pretty good. So that's probably as much as I'm gonna do on this episode. Let's jump into the flyover and we can have a look at the greatest driving road ever. We have got a bit of a driving theme going off at the minute with driving roads and racetracks and things like that. I think if I had the opportunity to drive around a road like this, I can't think of a much better car than a Ferrari or something like that to drive around. It would be pretty scary because obviously them drops are quite steep. Let me know in the comments below what car you'd like to drive around it. Shame there's not a mod in the game that will let you drive cars and things around the road. That would be pretty cool if you could do that. And that's this week's episode. So I do feel we're probably coming to the end of the Big Builder series now. Probably haven't got a huge amount more that I can do in it. Probably have got a couple of more episodes to go though. At least one to finish the racetrack that we've started in this episode. I'll probably do a season finale just to show everything off that's been built in the Big Builds. I probably am then going to take a few weeks break from Transport Fever. There is Farm Manager coming out soon, which I want to do a mini-series on. I also want to do another mini-series of King of Retail. And then probably we'll be back in Transport Fever maybe in a few weeks. But make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss the next episode and see how the racetrack turns out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help my channel out. If you want something else to watch, why not go and check out one of my mods video? I've got two now. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.